Right everyone, so it's not a bit of a rant today. Well, actually, to be honest with you, more of a observation, should we say, rather than a rant. I don't like to rant. Okay, maybe I do, sometimes I do. But um, anyway, just wanted to um, mention an observation I've had um, in the gym. So basically, been in the gym lately, seen a lot of a lot of people. Um, they're in the gym, the training is great, it's excellent. But they're just not training hard, they're not working hard, they're not putting the effort or intensity in. They're just not doing it. Um, and it gets me thinking, the majority of people know I'm talking about are, uh, should we say, younger demographic as well, because it's great uh, that the younger people are training a hell of a lot more than they were sort of when I was younger. So it's a lot more popular than it used to be. Which is why gyms and things like that are now got bigger, there's more of them, uh, they're better, they're bigger, they're better. Uh, competition for fitness gyms is incredible these days. The facilities and equipment that's out there now is, is fantastic, and it's only getting better and better. Um, but then that gets me thinking then to when, when I first started training, I remember looking back and how we used to train, how we would, all we had was a, a hall basically, and it was a, the only equipment we had was a bench, a little wooden bench, maybe some tyres. I mean, car tires, nothing big, nothing heavy, and that was a few mats, and that was about it. That was all we had. But what we had to, the lack of equipment and the lack of uh, sort of good facilities, uh, because due to that, we had to replace it by working hard. And the, the way we would tend to work, it would be sort of one minute on, you do as many presses as you can, one minute on, and you move on to the next exercise, many sit ups as you can, then you move on to the next exercise, one minute, you do as many squats as you can, and then you'd sprint for one minute as fast as you can you literally be racing people it's, you know 100% efforts for and you literally go straight to each exercise um and they sometimes you get a, a little bit of rest in between but you just work through those exercises have maybe two minutes rest and go around again then and then you, you know, have your stretch at the end and you work hard for the full hour apart from the scheduled rests and breaks in between but so my observation now is when i go to the gym these days and the the equipment that's in the gym these days is you know, we could only dream of that. It was only athletes would have this sort of stuff. I mean, I when I think about when I first started training, the, none of that. I'd never even heard of any of that. I, if I if you got me as a say, 15, 16 year old and put me in a teleported me through time into a gym now, into the gym I go to, which is a budget gym, which I'm paying like 15 pound a month to go to. I I think I was on a different planet. I think I was in a spaceship. I think you just teleported me and put me in a spaceship. Well, the fact that I'd been teleported would probably freak me out anyway. But if you put me in a uh, this gym, I wouldn't know what to do. And you said, look, what's, what's this? What, you know, Go on that machine. And I wouldn't know what I was doing because I wouldn't have a clue. But the fact that I'm saying, the point I'm trying to get now is there's so much technology now. There's so many apps. There's so many distractions. So uh, my tip will uh, visit the gym now. I'll go there and I can guarantee that there'll be people walking around staring down at their phones not looking where they're going and i like i have to walk i was walking up the stairs the other day in the gym and i, I literally had the side step out, out with this woman because she didn't even she couldn't even see me do you know what I mean? she was walking down the stairs she didn't even see there was somebody in front of her and i tried to dive out of the way otherwise she'd have walked straight into me so yeah that just got me thinking and then you'll you'll see on the machines you go down and there'll be a guy on the machine and he's he's there you know, hunched over on his phone He's on the lap pole now, he's hunched over on his phone for like five minutes. And then he'll do a set, really, you know, maybe a set of ten. And he's not he's not doing proper reps, he's doing like one, two, three, four. So the time under tension is like, what, you know, 20 seconds? That's it. So he does 20 seconds work, he has like five minutes break, but he's hunched over on his phone, playing on his phone, doing his likes, checking on his Instagram, and he'll probably taking a selfie, saying, oh, I'd work out today. But the fact is what I'm saying is, in five minutes, he's done 20 seconds of work. Whereas we used to train for one hour, and we would be working for that full hour apart from maybe, you know, two or three minutes where we'd be resting and having water. And we didn't have air conditioning either. I just remember in the summer, you know, it would be boiling hot in there. You'd literally just open a fire escape doors on your break time, on the, on the scheduled break. You'd open a fire exit doors, and the breeze would come in. And you'd be like, oh, it's beautiful. And I still remember that feeling now. It was a feeling of working hard. It was a feeling of I've worked hard. I'm sweating. I'm tired. And you get the air come in and you oh you, you know, it cools you down and you have a sip of water and then you'd be like right let's go around again and you go around again and uh and you look forward to the finishing then and you finish and then it would you know you have that cool air again and on the way out then it was uh you know you got that feeling of working hard 
So, I know a lot of these. You know, there's a lot more knowledge these days. A lot more. Um, there's a lot more knowledge these days. So people are training smarter. And there was a there was a thing a while ago where people would say you don't have to train hard. You got to train smart. Oh, I agree with that. I do agree with that. And I've done videos before where I've said you know just training hard is, um, you know, is no good. But we're at the point now where we can look at the two together. So it was back then maybe we were training too hard. Maybe we were training too hard. I don't know. I've talked about injuries and things like that. I sustained some new shin splints and stuff like that from the running. But then I think what's happened is we've gone the other way and we've gone, well, you don't need to train so hard. No, you've got to train smart. But I think you need to meet in the middle. You need to say, right, you train hard, train smart, and meet them in the middle and get the sort of common, a uh, bit of common ground, get a bit more uh, optimum, optimize things. And we can definitely do that now. And I think if people look back at how, you know, and try to remember how to train hard and and combine that with what they're doing now with the, the, the warm-ups and the foam rollers and things like that. Because don't get me started. I mean, like some, I watch some guys, they'll spend like 45 minutes warming up. They'll be rolling around on a foam roller. They'll be doing all these, these jujitsu stuff. I don't know, all these you know, waving things around and all this sort of nonsense. And then and then they'll go and train for like five minutes. And then they'll go, oh, well, I'm done now. <laughs> <laughs> no, a serious note. Um, it, uh, mobility issues. Are, are, I mean, people might have injuries and things like that. They need to mobilise, and they might be working on it. So I, I'm only joking with regards to that because I can't. I don't know what people's training goals are. Um, so they might be rehabilitating injuries for all I know. So uh, that was a bit of a joke, more than anything. Um, but yeah, that's just what I want to say. What to say? People aren't training as hard as they used to. People have lost the art of working hard, and they need to bring it back if they want to get the results they're looking for. Because people are just literally. You know they're not they're not achieving anything and they're wasting time and they may as well just go to a flipping library and or a coffee shop if they just want to sit there and play about on their phone and take their selfies to try and justify their you know playing around on their phone in the gym oh i'm using this app and this app is you know it's counting my time is uh it's you know it's, it's counting my repetitions it's, it's telling me how much to do and all that but i mean if it's detracting from your workout then you know you've got to be careful okay it's, but the thing is though it's up to you where you train um this is just my opinion on the matter and have a great day. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, like the video, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts on the matter are as well. Because it's always good to it's, it's always good to hear what other people think. It's just my like I said, my opinion. And have a great day. See you soon.